it was the best experience for me. After two years of planning, Gabriela Gomez finally got a chance to study abroad. The destination, New York City. So I started to search and then I found New York. And uh, I, I thought, oh my God, this is a, an amazing city and the uh, programs there are amazing. So I think I can do that. She says COVID-19 forced her to delay the trip, but it all works out in the end. It was amazing. I was very ne nervous. I wasn't in my country. I wasn't with my family, but I think everything, you know, worked. Every year, hundreds of thousands of students come to the United States looking for English programs or college degrees. They are from all parts of the world, but many end up right here in the tri-state area. New York, I think, is one of our most popular. Chris Kutsovit is with Kaplan International. We're seeing more students coming back again, at least in the New York school, at, in, in a full-time capacity. So they're getting an F-1 visa and they are coming here to study um, English full-time. He says COVID-19 really took a toll on study abroad programs in the U.S. And he's right. Latest data from the Department of State shows the number of international students dropped by more than 50% in 2020. But things are slowly getting better. We are finding that we are back to pre-pandemic numbers and exceeding those numbers. So it's pretty clear to us that people want to be here. And with COVID restrictions mostly gone, not only here in the tri-state, but all across the country, English schools expect a number of students to just keep going up as the fall semester begins. In the newsroom, Giovanni Diaz, Pixel 11 News.